Well, as you can tell, this, this next lesson uh, has got me dancing. Uh, I've been pre preparing some lessons for you, and if you've guessed by now, uh, lesson number one here is going to be on staying alive, which uh, you can be doing right now by washing your hands quite a bit. So just remember that little nugget. Okay, we're going to attack this song a little differently than uh, normal. Instead of going from the beginning all the way to the end, we're going to actually start in the middle because I think uh, we'll have a lot more success starting there. So today's lesson for staying alive is going to be from 15 to 22. And the reason we're doing that is it's similar for a bunch of different parts. Uh, before we do that, I want to give you a little bit of history of the group that made this song. And they're called the Bee Gees, B-E-E-G-E-E-S. Uh, they were formed in 1958. They're a band of brothers. Uh, the brothers' names are Barry, Robin, and Maurice. Their last name is Gibb. Um, they're from England. They were born in England, but uh, later they moved to Australia with their parents. And Australia is actually where they first got big as a band. Um, before I demonstrate your parts, uh, just some interesting things to note. Uh, clarinets, tenor sax, and third trumpet, you're going to want to watch out in this section for some F sharps. Uh, horn, you're going to want to watch out for B natural. Also in 19 and 21, there's a little bit of different rhythms depending on, there's kind of two different rhythms going on, so pay attention to which group you're a part of. And then uh, we also want to pay close attention to when the notes move down. And I'll help you out with that when we get to those parts. First of all, here's the flute part. And again, we're starting in measure 15. takes us to 22. Now I'm going to show you what I was talking about, uh, paying attention to when the notes move down. Uh, notice that the first four notes are all the same and then it moves down. So we're going to go instead of da, da, well just think da, 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 and then move down. I'll demonstrate. Here it is a little slower. And then I think if you get that little portion right there, you'll have it. Here it is on clarinet. Now notice the first note's going to sound a little bit different than the flute did. takes us to 22. Notice that's actually a harmony part, which makes it really, really cool. All right, the next part I'm going to play here is the first trumpet part. Now the uh, second trumpet, uh, if you're playing that, it starts on a different note. Take a listen. So notice that's a little bit lower. And then the third trumpet provides a really nice harmony part as well. It's a little bit lower than that. So really cool if we can get that 
harmony going. Okay, the next part I'm going to play for you is the tenor saxophone part. Um, notice that when we get to uh, 20, uh, 19 and 21, the rhythm's a little bit different for you there, and uh, I'll kind of draw your attention to that. at 19 and 21 we start that with two eighth notes instead of just straight um, a straight sound okay so the, there's two eighth notes and then off beats practice that and having those two parts going against each other is going to sound really really cool the uh, trombone part starts on a different note but it's really similar Here's the trombone part at 15. tuba uh, and Barry sax this is quite a bit different at 15 um, but really important it lays down the beat really well the most interesting part but super duper important and when we have the entire band playing it's going to be just super 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 cool all right the um the basics for the uh percussion section in this uh this particular part is just a steady rock beat so you can be playing on the rim messed up on that part I was reading 22 it's not even that intricate it's just uh... so just keep that rock beat going from uh, 15 to 22 and you will be golden um, I'm looking here uh, the cymbal part you're gonna be playing on beat two and four one two three four one two three four uh, the quads you're going to be going switching off with that bass drums you're going to be providing kind of a similar beat to the tuba boom 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 okay um and that is the basics of 15 to 22 happy practicing guys miss you a lot and uh, can't wait for us to play together again. Please stay safe. Wash those hands. Take care.